stage, we can confirm that um, a young woman, a 30-year-old woman, did die on the scene of gunshot wounds. Um, a 26-year-old man has been arrested and has been charged with murder. We've talked about this issue before, sports heroes going awry. This time, it's Oscar Pistorius. I think I've got his name right. He's a six-time Paralympics gold medalist. He earned the nickname, the fastest man with no legs. He's now been charged with murder. Simon Kent joins us now with more. Uh, Simon, mm. uh, you know, beyond Tiger Woods and the cheating scandal and uh, steroids, this one... This one goes, uh, well, much deeper off the edge, doesn't it? It does. And what a terrible tragedy for this young man to... Um, well, he's obviously going to face very serious charges. He's probably already been charged. And I tell you what, I, I've lived and worked in Africa and South Africa in particular during the 1990s in the run-up to the elections there. It is a gun-crazy culture. Everyone's got a gun. And uh, I'm saddened but not surprised that something like this has happened. He's, he's obviously pulled a gun out in his own home when he's heard a noise because... In South Africa, you go to bed at night with a gun under the pillow or under the bed or both. Yeah, so this was not an intentional murder by the sounds of it. This was something gone awry? It sounds like just a terrible, terrible accident. Again, because in South Africa, people are so... And in, in, in the big cities are so scared of being broken into, so petrified of being robbed. They have razor wire... Um, Fences around their homes, they have uh, usually two Rhodesian Ridgebacks in the backyard. Yeah. And I've been there, I've lived there, and I've seen how people live. They will have serious weapons in their house, under the bed, under the pillow. And when you go to bed at night, you actually lock yourself into the sleeping area and lock the, lock the door like a, 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 a jail door to keep yourself separate from the rest of your house in case you're broken into. Because crime and guns are so endemic in South Africa, so much a part of the fabric of the culture, uh, it's frightening. Just that's not something I can actually understand. Now, for people that haven't figured out who Oscar uh, Pistorius mm. is that we're Blade talking Runner. about. They Blade Runner. Blade Runner. The, Fastest this is the man guy, with no legs, yeah. Yeah. He, so he was doing uh, a, Olympic running. Mm. He was doing 100-meter dash, no legs, running on the blades. Now, so you're saying it looks like an accident, but this is, from my understanding, he'd been, they'd, police had been called to his home yeah. on more than one occasion on domestic issues. So... This will all come out in, in the case. This will all come out in court. It, it may well be a, a, a terrible domestic gone terribly wrong. The fact is he had the gun there at hand, which meant he could pull it out and shoot. I mean, if he was in a culture where guns weren't so prevalent, he could hardly cause the same damage with a butter knife or a plastic spoon, could he? I mean, sadly, tragically, this young girl's paid with her life. It, it, there's going to be a, a huge backstory to this story, believe me. Uh, but, but what a tragedy for this young man. And uh, we'll hear the full extent of it in the next few days but emblematic of South Africa still to this day um, still a terribly violent place and a terribly gun um, filtered culture and, and living next door to the United States we hear so much about mm. the United States and gun culture today uh, I'll tweet out the link later today somebody's sending me a story about how um, our murder rate or act murder rates in in some provinces are higher than the low murder rate states yes uh, so w there are comparisons but there's no comparison between the U.S. And, and a culture where you lock yourself into your bedroom at night. And that's exactly what happens. I mean, explaining to people who have never lived there and seen that, that they usually take it with a grain of salt, but believe me, that's what people do. You go into your sleeping chamber at night and pull the, 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 the cell door shut behind you and lock it. You let the two Rhodesian reachbacks out and, and you're, you're a hostage in your own home. What, what about windows? Do you not have windows well, in your bedroom? Well, you do, and, and most, most South Africans in some of the, the, those areas, and it cuts right across... All colours, creeds, cultures, everything, it's endemic everywhere where people are virtually hostages to their own fears of an evening. They have guards on the premises and, and the guns are there. The guns are prevalent. I don't know the, the, the full statistics for gun crime in South Africa, but it would, it's, it's horrendous and it's, it's such a big taker of young lives. And here's a couple of young lives. One has been taken and one is going to be irredeemably affected for the rest of his days on this planet because of what he's done. All right. Well, Simon, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there. A bizarre story, to be sure. But uh, thanks for, for helping us. I did not know that about South Africa. Mm. Uh, do check out liliespad.ca, everyone. Uh, we'll put up those links I was mentioning about the um, gun crime in Canada. And uh, we'll, we'll look into that uh, locking yourself in at bed at night. liliespad.ca. More to come.